Hi, this is Jody. Welcome back to my channel. And so I am all done with the glue books and I have made five, one, two, three, four, five, five of them. And so let's do a flip through and then I will get these listed on uh, my Etsy shop. And um, yeah, these glue books are so much fun and they are large glue books. So if you're into large and like lots of area, um, you will like uh, my glue books. Um, so let's do a measurement. This one is Under the Sea. It's a Discoveries book. It has beautiful um, coral wreath pictures and it's beautiful royal blues. So it measures uh, nine and three quarter wide by 12 inches tall. And they all have a three inch spine. So here is the spine in this beautiful, beautiful blue flower. And then here is the back. <clears throat> all right, so let's uh, flip through this beauty. I'll try to get in a uh, frame. Um, so my glue books, how I do them, um, I make them so that they lay completely flat uh, so that uh, you can glue in them um, very easily. So I have a little pocket here and so let's get started. There's a pocket here to store all of your goodies that you find along the way. So I will just flip through here. So there's children's books, nature books, calendars, um, this is a potato book. All these pages are really thick and heavy. Um, <clears throat> uh, this is a recipe book, a painting book, children's book, how to sketch book. It's a poem book. And I like varying the pages so that you get, because um, it's really fun to look at when you've done this one and this one and the one under and you can see peeking through. So that's why I vary the pages. And even though you're gluing, um, I do like to have beautiful pages uh, in my glue books because maybe you want to leave that plain and that's what you want to see. And then maybe you want to collage on the back or around it. Um, another pocket here. They have four signatures. Anywheres from 12 to 15 pages. And there's a sack to put your goodies in. Some are very vintage. There's another sack here. You can cut this open and make it a pocket. Or that's the other side of the sack. Look at this beautiful vintage uh, mixer where you could collage down here. I love these. I love that book that I have. I love these big encyclopedia pages. They're really thick and heavy. This is wallpaper. Oops. I do not use any magazine pages uh, in a glue book because they are just not heavy enough. Isn't it beautiful? Another pocket.
These are so fun to make. I just love making them and I ended it up with a beautiful loon. Okay, so that is Under the Sea um, Glue Book by Discoveries. Very large. Okay. Now, let's do this one. So this one is a children's book and um, it's done with denim fabric for the spine and then the two um, edge protectors. And this is Prince Bertram the Bad. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful red book and then there is the spine and then here is the back of the book. <clears throat> And then um, it had a lot of scribbling and stuff here, so I just um, lined it with some uh, cardstock paper. All right, so then here's um, a wallpaper. Another sack. I always include um, with my journals or my glue books that I make, um, this is wallpaper, um, I always include a, a book bag and then a starter um, bag of uh, ephemera, not, well, ephemera, but um, you know, glue booking stuff that you can start uh, putting in your in your book. Um, oh, that was a beautiful um, owl there. <clears throat> Another pocket. This is actually a placemat. Children's book. This is a page from a polar bear book, which I made a um, glue book out of, which you'll see in a few minutes. Children's book, a calendar, that's like from a big desktop calendar. It's a bird book. Snoopy book. This is a nature book. This is like a like a Hallmark book. This is a vintage um, poem book here. So that beautiful flower. And I always leave lots of space because this is going to grow. So, um, and to continue having it lay flat so that you can glue, it needs to have that space. And here's a page from this book. It's a recipe book, a vintage one. It's a flower book, a Delilah, or Delia's children's book. It's a recipe book. This is a how to draw book. This is just a little poem book, like a Hallmark type book. <clears throat> Orange pecan pie, that sounds good. Beautiful. Some vintage book there. This is a comes out of a handyman uh, 
book or do-it-yourself book. It's a vintage one. Here's a children's first encyclopedia. It's like the first page of it. This is a nature book. This is a really thick paper. It's very soft. I love the book. This is a different book with gray colored pages. I love finding books that have different colored pages. Like the potato book I have has brown paper. This book has lots of colored paper, these poems. I just love this book. I'm going to have to get another one. And I don't remember the name of it offhand, but uh, so see it lays really flat and um, I like that. So there you go. Prince Bertram the Bad. <laughs> it's awesome. All right. <clears throat> Let's do the next one. Okay, so the next one here is that Polar Bear book. So this one is Polar Bear Brothers. And uh, it's beautiful, um, <clears throat> almost like a black with yellow writing. So I did some yellow fabric spine here. Here's the back. And I did put some lace here. So let's take a look at this one. I made a little pocket here. So this is a Norman Rockwell book. Made it into a pocket. Here again, here's that colored um, paper poem book, which I just love because it's really like a parchment paper. Here's some a border, which I just realized is upside down. <laughs> children's book, recipe books, again, you know, there's pretty much, um, this is a children's reader book, um, here's that gray paper, uh, most of the time how I make my glue books is I take all of these books, I'll, like I'll take the drawing book, I'll take a recipe book, I'll take an encyclopedia book, I'll take a nature book, I'll take several children's books, um, inspirational books. Um, this is like a vintage book. So this is Minute Biographies. This is a very old book, but it's really thick paper. Um, and I'll just, you know, because I put 12 to 15 pages uh, in a signature. So I will take 12 to 15 books, um, again, like a wallpaper book like this is. This is wallpaper. Um, I will take like a sack or envelopes for storing, um, and I will just take those books, take them all apart, and then I basically make an assembly line and um, take a page out of... Uh, each book and just keep going and add them into all the signatures. So, so 12 to 15 per signature. I usually try not to um, repeat the pages. So I try to get as many different books as I can. Uh, like this is a nursery rhyme book and it's large so I fold it. Here's that potato book. Yeah, um, so I choose books um, that are easily um, taken apart that I don't have to tear out. Um, if there are books, like this one for instance, is a really old, um, but it's thick paper, but it had like tiny holes because there was a lot of, um, oh, what do you call it, sewing, you know, this, um, the binding to it had a lot of holes, so it almost made it like perforated once I take it out of the book. So I always take uh, paper tape or um, I glue on washi tape to make the pages stronger. <clears throat> and here's like that placemat.
These books here um, are like these types of books. So these are, uh, these books, don't pass them up. I usually can get them like 10 cents or five cents, but they're easy because this is just usually two staples and you can take them right out and then you've got 20 pages of a children's book that you can put in. Um, so that's, you know, I search for those <clears throat> as well. There's a little bag. <clears throat> and calendars, of course, I always get free <clears throat> at the thrift store because they're usually outdated, so um, no one would usually buy them. So they're always free. So there was that one. Polar Bear Brothers. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Did I? I forgot to measure. Did I? Um, oh, I have to go back and measure the um, Prince Bertram book. I'm sorry. So this one is eight and three quarter wide by eleven and a half. So this one's a very large one too. Um, let me get Prince Bertram back out. He's a little bit smaller. He is. Um, seven and three quarter by 11 and a quarter. Okay, so that was his size. Okay, let's do the next one. So the next one, um, I did a Walt Disney one, and this is Walt Disney Tell Me a Story. Um, this happens to be volume 18, and I did it in some beautiful red uh, fabric with some black rickrack. Again, three inch spine. Here is the back. And let's measure this one. This one's about the same size as the Prince one. So it's seven and three quarter by, by ten and a half. Almost the same size. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, this had beautiful end papers because it had the Disney, um, so I kept it. All right, again, my books lay flat, and let's go through this one. I love this brown paper. Here's a bag that you can cut here or cut on top and use to store your ephemera. This is a vintage um, book about dogs. Here's another children's book, Song of the Swallows. Now here is some wrapping paper. This has been glued together to make it extra strong. So this is thick wrapping paper anyways, but this is a vintage paper. Here's some wallpaper, some gray page paper. I think this is like an end paper to a book. It's Bambi. <clears throat> Here's some more. Um, actually, this is just a page out of a <clears throat> out a uh, out of a book or magazine. It's a it's like tags that you would cut out. Okay. So here's Polar Bear Brothers. This is um, from the Polar Bear book. Some birds. Some desk map or desk calendar again. Here's a bag, different one. Here's some poems. Uh, this is from, uh, geez, I can't remember her name, the author, but uh, somebody, somebody loves you. Let me see if I can see it on my shelf. Um, I'll look. For it. Yeah, I think it's Somebody Loves You. Children's book. And this is um, a painting book. That's really cool. OK, 
Okay. This is out of a poem book that has lots of pictures. This is a Minnesota DNR book. It's like the front page. Some more wrapping paper. Isn't that beautiful? Just love those vintage recipe books. And they have such thick pages too. There's some mushrooms. This is from a fables book. Okay, here's how to paint. I love this book because it has beautiful, beautiful finished paintings as it shows you how to do it. Um, I just love that book. I'm going to try to find another one. Yeah, the book is called Painting Floral Botanicals. Um, and I'll sh I will be showing it in my book reviews that I do, so be sure to watch that. If you want to find that book, I mean, I'll be showing all of these books unless I've already cut most of the book up <laughs> or took it apart. This is a children's book. This is some, um, it's some v uh, vintage music paper, and then it's been, um, uh, what do you call it, um, ironed on with napkin on there, so it gives a beautiful texture. All right, isn't that beautiful? Okay. So that was Tell Me a Story, Walt Disney. It's got Mickey Mouse on the front. Okay, and then I got one more to go. All right, and this one I just love. I love the National Geographic, uh, the, the, these books. They're very thick book board. They have beautiful pictures on the front. Um, the, the one that I did in my first set of glue books, uh, had a baby fawn on it and it said, uh, spring, I believe it said spring. Um, so this is a different year, obviously. Um, I just love these books. So this one is, uh, eight and a half, almost eight and a half by, uh, 11 and a quarter. Okay, again, it has a three inch spine. I put this beautiful um, floral green um, fabric on it. And then here is the back, it's just plain. Okay, all right, and it had beautiful, just gorgeous uh, end papers. Um, so yeah, yeah, I love it. Um, and then of course, this was a, um, a um, a book for nature and it actually had spring on it so I just thought I would put it here as a front and it looks really nice. Okay, so again we'll go through it. See how this has all different color papers? I just love that book. It's a bag. Vintage cookbooks, there's the painting book, children's books, encyclopedias, um, other pocket here, isn't that beautiful? Here's Norman Rockwell. I love the Norman Rockwell books because they're huge pages. Here's the Fables book. It's a weekly reader children's book, that's what that was. Here's a reader book, Atlas page. Um, so anyways, I love the big, uh, large books because you can cut them down and make them into, look at that, isn't that beautiful? 
Um, you know, you can make them into the glue book pages. You can fold the pages in half. Um, they're just wonderful. I love the giant books, the atlases, and this, the, this is an ideals page. Oh, another flower page, isn't that beautiful? So when I made mine, um, and I put the, those flower pages in, um, I collaged on the back, and then I left the um, the flower page so it's something beautiful to look at in my glue book. Um, so like this, if you like this just like it is, you could leave it and then, you know, collage here. And if you like that, um, you know, it, like I said, you know, the glue books are, you can do whatever you want. It's, it's your book. There's not any um, rules to follow. Here's a page from the Polar Bear book. It's a handyman book old, old one. I'm just trying to move along a little fast because I know my camera only goes 30 minutes. <laughs> so another encyclopedia book. And you know, I keep these big and I just fold them. And if you don't you can cut them if you want, you know, if you don't want to do a fold out or maybe you want to do a side pocket, who knows, you know, but I leave them that way for you guys to do. Here's another one of those pages. It's beautiful green. That's page out of the oceans, um, the sea, under the sea or whatever the name of that was, uh, that book, that was out of that book. Here's some wallpaper. Children's book. This is the Snoopy book again. This is a minerals book, identification of minerals. I just enjoy making these so much. I have so much fun with these. This is an old children's book. Encyclopedia page nature book page and children's encyclopedia and there's the back isn't that gorgeous i just love it so that is all of my glue books so i will have five of them in my shop and um i will get them um information and and signed or whatever and yeah, so just gorgeous. So there they all are. They don't even all fit in the camera. So anyways, I um, hope everyone's doing well and you enjoy glue books and you enjoy um, my videos. And please make a comment or if you have questions, uh, please do. So hopefully everyone is having a great day and uh, create and enjoy the new weather. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.